We have made it to Antigua in Guatemala. Here is a view of Volcan de Agua with a population of about 60,000 people. This is uh, one, of, one of the larger cities in Guatemala and definitely the historical center of the country. It actually was the capital between uh, 1542 and 1773. In 1773, it was actually tragically destroyed in an earthquake. And when it was actually founded, which was in 1527, it was, it was also destroyed. So twice the city has been destroyed. And the first time in 1527 was by this volcano, Volcan de Agua. And you know, we're just here on the viewpoint of the whole the hill of the cross or Cerro de la Cruz. And today we're just gonna show you around what the city has to offer. And we look forward to show you also Hobbitanango. So what do you have to say about that? It's where the Hobbit was filmed. Yeah, so just kidding. No, it wasn't. That was actually New Zealand, but this is more of an imitation set. So that'll be cool to show you guys that. On our way to Obitanango, the cost is 50 quetzals. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Wow. As you can see so far, this is a... Uh, Guatemala is a very mountainous country. There's really mountains everywhere. The shuttle to Abitanango. An extra 900 meters. up there? Oh, okay. That actually does look like a hobbit. Oh, okay. So that's the entrance there. Interesting. A remake of The Hobbit. <laughs> this is cool. The doors. The actual little houses. I wonder if we could go in. No. Maybe. Can we go in? Not these ones. Oh, these are for guests only. Like, you could stay here. Yeah. So you can stay here like a hotel. I didn't know that. I just figured that out now. So people could actually, you know, stay the night here, which is great. Hola. 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 The sun is creeping out. We're in the Shire again, just like in The Hobbit. Here, come check out my crib. Do, MTV uh, crib. MTV crib. MTV Cribs. Tango edition. Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. That's it. Wow, amazing. Robin Hood. Lots oh. of candles. Yeah, 
And that is the end of Natalie's MTV Cribs. That's all I got. Just a small 80 square feet of space. Reinforced by rebar to help it be more sturdy. Let's go further. Albitanango. We got the big beard. I'm the big guy. Oh, well, that's it for Albitanango. We're gonna show you more of the city. Day two and Antigua. How's your coffee? Delicious. How much? Um, 20 quetzales, so that's like three. 350, 350. Canadian, so maybe three. But three, it's really good coffee here, like really good. About 310 US. So yes, it is cheaper than you would get in North America. Apparently, uh, Starbucks orders Guatemalan coffee for all the United States. Or, sorry, for the US. Uh, yeah, anyways. Starbucks, yeah, they get, it, they get it from here apparently, so. Interesting fact. Yeah, so if you like the coffee in Starbucks, it's like Guatemalan coffee, if you're from the US. Oh, there's a fruit stand. I want mango. So we'll go back. Here in the main square in Antigua. It's a very beautiful little park here. I have a fountain and you know. A fountain where the water comes out of the tits, which I think I've never seen that before. Literally out of her boobs as she's holding them. Funny. We'll show you. Oh, well, looks like they're cleaning it up. No, today, they're doing maintenance. Yeah. Yesterday it was completely full. Today they're actually cleaning it, which is I actually, that's good. I like that. Really scrubbing it down thoroughly. But as you can see, if you can see it from here, she's holding her... She's holding her tits. <laughs> and water is coming out of there. Or like squeezing them, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, this might be le better lighting. As you can see, she's holding her boobies. Scandalous. No, no, we're good, thanks. Yeah. So we're here, this is the Antigua Cathedral, or Cathedral. The main church here in Antigua. And there are actually a couple of museums in here, so we probably won't check that out, but we're just gonna show you all the major landmarks today, major buildings, major churches, you know, and that'll probably be it. But it's very beautiful here so far and just going for a stroll is nice here you don't have to go into all the museums personally i'm not that interested in the museums neither is natalie so we just we like seeing the architecture and walking around included in the royal palace is the uh, national art museum of guatemala and also the uh, museo santiago de los caballeros so that's actually what the city was initially called 
when it was first founded. And then it obviously changed to Antigua. When you do come here, if you do bring US dollars, if, when you exchange it in the bank, that's the best rate we found so far. So for one US dollar, we got 7.58 7, 7 consoles. And, and uh, you have to bring your passport. I didn't know that. So this is also right here. This is a interesting little square. This is called Union Tank here. Just the gathering location. Little park square here. This is actually, this is where the bus dropped us off when we came from uh, Lang Queen, so, or the shuttle that we took. They dropped us off right there in front of these uh, yellow arches. Very nice little park. There's vendors, as you can see. Everywhere in most of, pretty much all of Latin America that I've traveled to, there's always vendors, you know, just trying to, trying to scrape together a living, you know, selling what they can. The mangoes? They're so tiny. Small miniature mangoes. So here's a church here as well. This is called uh, Iglesia San Pedro. Apostol. And the big building beside these arches is called Convento Santa Clara. Right here. And within these walls, at least with the pictures that Google showed, was a pretty big garden. Which looked very nice. And as you can see, the whole town is surrounded by mountains and volcanoes. So it's almost like it's in a valley, so to speak. We got an old school Benz here. <laughs> nice. There are older cars here a lot of the time. I'm pretty sure we saw a Lada. I'm not 100% sure, but I think we did. Here is the Antigua Colegio de la Compañía de Jesús. Here, we have found something with free entry, finally. <laughs> we only had to go to like uh, three or four, probably five or six even uh, museums. This is nice. This is the chocolate store.
unfortunately I couldn't eat any of the food and any of the chocolate because I actually I had food poisoning for uh, it started on Monday or yeah Monday right no, Tuesday. Or Tuesday. Oh, wait, no, Monday. No, Monday, Monday. Monday so, night. so Monday and Tuesday. So Monday night. Monday I was still fine. Tuesday, Monday, like Tuesday morning, I woke up at 3 in the morning. My stomach was, you know, not doing well. Then all of Tuesday, I was not, I was, I didn't do anything. Couldn't eat anything. And then Wednesday was better. Today's Thursday. But I still want to be careful, you know, just because we have the hike tomorrow. So we're here in the market. I'm, I am personally in the market for another uh, fanny pack or satchel of some sort. So we'll see what we can get here. Go check them out. I'm in the market for some sunglasses. Oh, how do you like these ones? Oh, these the, are fast. The fast ones. These are good for cycling. How do they look on me? <laughs> Look at the weird. Oh. I actually pulled these off quite well. Yeah, they are bad. But I want more girly ones. Where are the Versace's? I'm looking. So we just got some fresh shades. This pair. Oh yeah. This Big pair. Versace. So I got these fast sunglasses too. Cycling. These will be for cycling. And just when I want to walk fast, you know? So I think these will be good too. I think they'll be good for thumbnails as well. I think a lot of people will click. <laughs> if we're both wearing these glasses, I think that'll, I think that'll get some clicks. Yeah, so three, three pairs of sunglasses for uh, 100. So it's like eight uh, Canadian dollars. Kinsa is 15, right? Kinsa is 15, yeah. Uh, how do you say how much again? Quanto cuesta? No, no. Uh, how, like, how many, like, oh. how, how much? So for the three sunglasses, 100 quetzals, that's like uh, 17 Canadian dollars, about 15 US. Okay, I guess. <laughs> They're never ending these markets. They're never ending always. They go forever. Do they even have meat? I wouldn't get the meat here. I'm, I have a sensitive stomach, but. If you have a stronger one than me, you could get everything here. Spices, ginger. The meat section. I think these are pig feet. Yeah, they're pig feet. More meat. Fish. No, it's four. Four. And we got guards here, shotguns, 
fully loaded with shotguns and they got the slugs kind of wrapped around them. So you could get pretty much anything at this market. You get electronics, shoes, clothes, food, carpets, whatever you want. Household items, like cleaning items, whatever. Everything. And of course, some football jerseys. <laughs> so really, a mixture of everything you could get here. Everything you want. Shoes as well. Oh, this is the inside, the building. Chairs, whatever you want. Tortillas. Flowers. I think I owe you some. <laughs> I always owe her flowers, I'm sure. Owes a woman flowers. So any man to any woman? No. <laughs> so what do you together? Ah, okay, that makes okay, sense. That sounds good. Do you want to get out of here? Yeah. Let's go. And I'm going to get that satchel I've been meaning to come here for. That was the only reason. And I was thinking about getting sunglasses, so which I did. By the way, literally all the sunglasses I own are fakes I bought at markets like this. I used to, I had a, like, uh, I had a couple of pairs of nice sunglasses that I spent like three or four hundred on each, uh, Canadian dollars, and I lost both of them, so. After that, I never, never decided to buy real ones again. And I've actually never lost any since those ones. So all the fake ones I never lost, all the real ones I always lost. Which is ironic. The ones you don't care about stick around the longest. So I would say this is the most action we've gotten all day, just with people. Yes. And uh, yeah, Antigua is, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice city, but most of the stuff to do here is the nature, you know, the nature, the hiking. There's the, you could actually do coffee tours, things like this that are outside of the city, located in the mountains and, you know, within the nature. So that's most of what to do here. <laughs> we got some live chickens here. <laughs> to be honest, it's not like it's that much more humane in North America. They keep them in chicken coop, so it's. You could judge all you want, but it's not that much worse. I'm talking to everybody. And at least here they don't feed them antibiotics their whole life, you know? So, and they don't, they don't pump them up with steroids so they grow faster. Here it's more natural, so. It's, uh, to me it's about a wash, how they treat the animals. What is that? Yeah, the ones in... Uh, they're not mini mangoes, they're plums called jokenbe. <laughs> and right here we got jengibre. Okay, where's, where's our guy? Yeah, all right. Time to buy the satchel. Gonna, gonna try to get him down. He wants 70k tolls. Maybe we could get him down to 35, I really doubt it. But maybe, just maybe, I'm hoping. 
55. 55 kids songs. I could have gotten him down. You wouldn't. I didn't try that. Maybe it was because of the camera. Yeah. So we, I got this satchel. I wasn't able to get him down, unfortunately. He wouldn't go down. Rookie. That's rookie mistake. I should have let her do it. Yep. My negotiating skills were poor, but whatever. It was still, this cost 12 bucks Canadian, so about 10 US. And everyone else, like we, I shopped around literally all the vendors and everyone who had a similar satchel to this. One wanted 100, one wanted 95, one wanted 80, one wanted 85. Another wanted 75, so he was the lowest. So I did find the lowest at least, but he would not go down. He only offered me other satchels. He offered me worse satchels for the price I wanted, but you know, it is what it is. Next time I'll uh, do the bargaining. That's true. At least with the sunglasses, we saved about 15k tall, so not bad. Better than nothing. It's two beers. <laughs> so we're back at our hotel. A nice quiet street here. But a lot of the time when we buzz it. I already buzzed it. Oh. There's no one there. We have to wait, so. A no, little, not a little. This is the first time. No, it happened to me twice already. Oh. I think you can use the key. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Oh, we got him. Hola. 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 Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. How are you? Good. 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 Show you the room and then show you the rooftop. Okay, so this is it. A small room, there's a table, TV. There's no cable or not. Well, there might be cable. We haven't even turned on the TV, to be honest. This is the bathroom. I asked for fresh towels. Oh yeah, and yeah. she'll give us some, okay. Yeah. Nice. How much was this, by the way, for, for the six nights? $346. So yeah, that's 346 Canadians, so whatever. That's like uh, three, 300. Probably. 300. 340, no, that's gonna be like 315 or 320 US dollars. So for six nights, that's, uh, to be honest, that's pretty cheap. The, the cheapest thing about here has been the accommodations for sure. I'm gonna show you guys the rooftop. You wanna come or no? Uh, she's coming in like five Okay, minutes. so I'm gonna go by myself. Here's the key. This 
so we'll take a little tour of the hotel. There's a kitchen area, shared, but it's good. It has all the amenities that we need, or that you can need or want. Fridge, just label your stuff as other people have. And yeah, it's good enough. Gas stove top. Everything you really need to just kick, cook simple meals, right? And let's see the rooftop now. So here you go. Got a beautiful view of Antigua from here. All the mountains. There's actually these strobe lights here which turn on at night they're red which is nice and you can see the church and everything here you know so very nice place there's the volcan de agua that i showed you earlier on in the video we'll show you some some footage from the uh from the drone as well Here is the Santa Catalina Arch. It's under construction. They are working on it right now. As you can see, the scaffolding. I think they're just repainting it and patching it up. That's it for Antigua. We hope you enjoyed our video and we'll catch you in the next one.